The mind can travel inside the body. I have an idea that this experiment was the experience that turned my mind toward dance. Or at least the kind of dance that I have done. The mind can travel inside the body. It was the beauty of the dances, the joy of the dancing, and one of the first works I saw, Antic Meat, the quality of the humor. I liked what he did to my brain. I liked, I liked it, it to my brain. Much like the water temperature experiment revealed to me the same principle in mental terms. One side was culture and tradition and form. The other side was innovation. The hitherto unknown and chance. The mind can travel inside the body. I could feel them both when I had them both to compare. Certainly this is what happened to me. I began to notice an improvisational form we sometimes used, thought it was interesting and began to teach it, learning to explain it, developing what became contact improvisation. I liked what he did to my brain. The Contact Improvisation Project was popular and continues to grow. It began with these 17 people and is now done by tens of thousands, which is an estimate. Nobody really knows what is happening to it. In the period from 72 to 86, I studied it and tried to understand what exactly improvisation is. I felt uh, personally I had to look at whatever improvisation I had within me, which I couldn't uh, share as a structure. I decided to find something to teach, 
which could be clearly taught and to improvise and perform something which I could not teach at all. But I, I felt I, I felt a need to change because I had been working on improvisation and it seemed like it really couldn't be taught. It seemed like it was something that somebody had to teach themselves. They they had to do I mean I could provide a kind of platform. Contact improvisation provides a kind of platform, but um, beyond well, many people, when they get into contact, follow the rules of it as, they're, as it's explained to them. So it has to it sort of has to go through this filter of language which provides guidance and at the same time creates limitation. And um, improvisation, I think, has to be almost unmoored from language or dance improvisation. sort of pre-thinks the issue for you. So as you s decide to go forth into this idea of improvisation, you carry with you what you think it is. And that's, of course, more a structure than an improvisation. The body and the brain together create a fiction which we call me. The body and the brain together create a fiction which we call me. I hope each person absorbing the movement finds their own body mechanics altered and improved by what they noticed. These may be small and temporary, such as a change of breathing, a greater integration of moving, a sense of lightness in the body, but they are an invitation into further experience of the movement. Language can be helpful, but it's... Uh, it sort of pre-thinks the issue for you.
think that one of the reasons I got involved in dance is to finish my movement development. Because I have a hunger to find and to finish and to explore, to do essentially what babies do when they begin to move. A hunger to find out more of what movement is or can be. I think it provides a service to keep the search alive in a culture which has engineered an environment which requires physical and sensorial suppression to exist in. Essentially, urban civilization has cut us off from movement and sensorial development which would occur in a natural environment. It is appalling how we disuse the body. Dance reminds us about that. Dance explores some of the physical possibilities. Dance refocuses our focusing mind on very basic existence. Time, space, gravity open up to creativity. This seems to me a reminder of nature, of our natures. Material for the spine can be seen as a system for exploring the interior and exterior muscles of the back. It aims to bring the light of consciousness to the dark side of the body, that is, the side not much self-seen, often an omitted element in a dancer's self-definition. the inner sensations. I wanted to bring to consciousness the inner sensations. I wanted to bring to consciousness the inner sensations. This is 
is all based in the activity of projection or extension. The dance world comes from and at the same time exists to further the idea of this projection as the kind of movement that we call dance. travel inside the body. Devotion. The mind, maybe a passivity of spirit, can travel inside the body. The study of martial arts was useful not for reasons of defense, but because the most important battles we fight are inner ones. Normally, we call them choices. Each choice is a step not only to our conditions, but also to the development of the brain. It used to be thought that the brain developed and finished and then remained unchanged. But with brain scanning techniques we have invented in the past few decades, we have learned that the brain is adaptable. I mean physically adaptable. I mean physically changeable. So the choices we make remain critical. This is really an issue because I want to push the idea of self-initiative in the arts. What I'm afraid of is passivity in the arts. What I'm afraid of is people who learn the craft or take 10,000 hours or 10 years to learn the craft 
and lose their initiative. No one can speak of how long it takes to develop the mind of a dancer. I feel like contact improvisation treats space spherically. So you do not have the horizontal uh, with sky above and floor below uh, reality. You have another reality where, from the visual point of view, um, everything's moving around you. Any, any you know, that sphere, that's what I mean by spherical. I mean, the, the senses themselves are experiencing this space as a sphere instead of as a... Uh, uh, I guess it's more two-dimensionally. And at the same time, we know that we each invented walking, reaching, playing, communicating in and by ourselves. Walking, reaching, playing, communicating, walking, reaching. This seems reason enough to bring the body to the mind. In this personal space, within the cultural space, can profitably continue to grow for as long as we remember to grow it.